Hi guys. Oh my gosh. I am Lori and this is my story and you are going to love it. It's such a funny, silly book about frogs. I want to say hi to Weston and Kinsey and Cole and Addie and JJ and any of my other friends that are watching tonight. All right, let's get started. What a party. Written by Sandy Asher and illustrated by Keith Graves. All right, let's see what they have to say about this frog party. So cute. Froggy slept in his own special place at the edge of the pond. It fit him perfectly with just the right amount of pebbles and mud, leaves and twigs, quiet and cool. It was a fine place to sleep and Froggy liked it. There he is, Mr. Froggy. But one morning he woke up early. Today's the day, he croaked and hopped down the road as fast as he could go. Plinkety, plunkety, plinkety, plunkety, singing his favorite song. Barum da rum, barum da rum, barum da 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 rum da rum. There he is. What's it say on his t shirt? Can you see it? Hmm, interesting. Froggy woke up his best friend, Rabbit. Today's the day, he croaked, and he hopped plinkety plunkety plinkety plunkety, singing his favorite song. Barum da rum, barum da rum, barum da 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 That's cute. At last, Froggy got where he was going. A banner fluttered above his head. Happy birthday, Grandpa! Big frogs and little frogs scurried about, hanging decorations, fixing refreshments, and preparing party hats. I'm here to sing for Grandpa, Froggy announced. Today's the day. Most certainly is, said his uncle, but you're way too early. Slow down, Froggy. Can't, Froggy said. I need a costume. Look at Happy birthday, Grandpa! That's so cool. It's a party. And rippity rappity rippity rappy. He made one just like that. I need a stage, Froggy said. And whackity whackity wumpity whackity. He built one just like that. I need programs, Froggy said. And scribbly scratchity scribbly scratch. He wrote some just like that. I think you need a break, Froggy, Rabbit told him. But it was too late. There he is, making a stage, costumes, programs. He's busy. Let's see what happens next. The rest of the family was gathering. Frogs from near greeted frogs from far with hugs and decorations and refreshments and party hats. Presents and more presents piled up for Grandpa. And then Froggy gave his gift to Grandpa. He passed out the programs, zipped up his costume, hopped on stage, and sang his favorite song, louder and clearer than ever before. There he is on stage, singing for Grandpa. Do you know that song? I bet you do. So much applause. Yay! So many cheers. Woo! What a party. What a day. Everybody liked this song, I think. And then it was over. Time for big frogs to pack everything up. Time for little frogs to say goodbye to Grandpa. Time for Rabbit to say goodnight to Froggy. No, wait, stop, Froggy croaked. Oh, how he wished the party could go on and on and on. Don't want it to be over, cried Froggy. What a party, what a day. Rum to rum. See, everybody's leaving. But Froggy wants the party to go on. He's a party frog. 
But Froggy, said Grandpa, it's late. Don't want to say goodbye, Froggy said. For room to room. But Froggy said, Uncle, we're tired. Don't want to say goodnight, Froggy cried. For room to room. But Froggy Rabbit said, it's time. Everyone's going home and everyone's going to bed because everyone is tired. Not me, said Froggy. Yes, you, said Rabbit. Come on, I'll read you a story and then you must go to sleep. Don't want to go to sleep, Froggy grumbled, but he did want to hear Rabbit's story. That's a funny looking rabbit, isn't it? He's blue with a big mustache. He's crazy. So he stopped trying to sing and told everyone thank you. And he hopped back home. Plinkety, plonkety, plinkety, plonkety. There he is right there. Let's see what happens next. Plunk. There he listened while Rabbit read a story. That's cute. Toodaloo, Froggy, said Rabbit when he'd finished reading. Toodaloo, Rabbit, Froggy croaked. Then Froggy settled down in his own special place at the edge of the pond. He hadn't been there in quite a while. He'd almost forgotten how perfectly it fit him with just the right amount of pebbles and mud and leaves and twigs, quiet and cool. It's his little home sweet home. Do you see Froggy right there? He's cute. He's chillaxing, isn't he? He'd almost forgotten how much he liked it. Froggy snuggled deeper into his blankies. He thought about Grandpa's birthday and Rabbit's story. What a party, he croaked softly to himself. What a day. Then he sighed a happy sigh. <sighs> and he fell asleep. He went to sleep with a smile on his face, didn't he? The end. That's a that's a fun book, isn't it? Well, you guys have fun at school tomorrow. And I love you bunches. Bye-bye.